All right, I wanted to get uh, to the filter portion of this build, but I wanted to start with, this is the gravel that I put in from the previous episode. Um, it's a Carib Sea Aragonite Seafloor Special Grade Reef Sand. comes in 40 pound bags. And I bought six bags and I only put five in the aquarium. I'm going to set up now. And this is the filter system that I purchased. I'm going to do a Refugium Miracle Mud based system this time around. And I'm going to open it in front of you. I haven't opened it yet. It says inspect it on the top. Let's see what we got. just picked it up last weekend. It looks good in the box. Looks like they package it really well actually. Take a look inside. It even has a filter sock inside of it. Let's pull the foam caps out. seen it. It's a model 3616. It's made for a 150 to a 240 gallon aquarium. Uh, I'm probably going to have about 200 gallons in the system, 210, somewhere in that range. Looks like it's got a few instructions here. And uh, like I said, it's got the filter stock. The bulkhead's already in it. And nice, they didn't cut holes in this set. So. I can put some merciful pumps in. Other two other items I got were there's two 24 watt 10k lamps for the refugium portion of it. There's two small bags of bio balls that will just sit in here. I'm going to also, as it first runs, place uh, some filter floss or something on top to catch anything that may fly in there. And then this box should have three bags of Miracle Mud, 30 pounds, one, there's two, and there's the third. And along with the deep sand bed, we shouldn't have any nitrate issues. I want to try and get away from using a biopellet reactor on this go-around. I've used two previously, and they're just a headache. In my opinion, they're a headache. Um, you know, if somebody's running a, uh, if you're running a trickle filter, then it might work for you. But I have a Miracle Mud system, and I was using one, and it just lowered the nitrate so low that the corals didn't even like it. I had an aquarium previously, and um, I was just using a deep, fine grade sugar sand bed and the nitrates were around 2.5 parts per million and it seemed like everything was happy. So my goal is gonna to be to shoot for that again. I'll have the Miracle Mud in the bottom here and I've got a semi-deep to a deep sand bed depending on where you are in the back of the tank. And then I'll have the Catomorpha and the lights will be 24 seven. And I'm gonna put two, uh, two submersibles, one for each side and they uh, return. And uh, we'll see how well this sock does taking in 1500 GPM. I'm a little curious about that, but uh, I mean, it, it does sit right above the fitting, and it looks like it won't be too hard to take out, which would be nice. So, uh, anyway, that should uh, do it for this video, and you'll see it next underneath the tank.